the basic of the animal needs to where their food really comes from, Executive Director of Fast Food Farms Denise Emails passion for teaching agriculture keeps this farm ag day growing. Been here 20 years, we've been doing actual ag days for 17 years and then the progress that we have taken and it's every year you can find more and more activities that are showing them the origin of and all what it has to take to go from the, the, the farm to the packaging to the distributor to whatever. And then the farmers bring them to where? The store. Yeah. To you know, it is not just about growing this Ag Day, but growing experiences that the children will always remember. I encountered with some young adults to go when I went into the store and when I told them I was getting ready for Ag Day, they told me, oh my God, this is my favorite thing I did when I was a little kid. And they remembered what they did when they came here as a kid. That touches my heart to know it made a difference in this young person's life. If they can still remember 15 years later of what they did. So it's very rewarding. I think it's very beneficial to, for kids to experience what they're experiencing today. Email's goal is to make sure that each of the 500 children that visited the Farm Ag Day was able to learn just how important agriculture really is. If you want to find out more about the fast food farm, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org. And if you're wanting to bring agriculture to your classroom or just learn more about it at home, visit aitcla.org. Now that stands for Ag in the Classroom, Louisiana. There you'll find lots of great activities like make and takes and lessons for each curriculum with grade level and benchmarks all right there. Still to come on Twyla, a story that really bugs me. It's about a guy who is happy when pests destroy his crops. Stay with us.